Our design philosophy for the, for the Premier is really cabin first. We build the plane around the cabin, not the cockpit. Now the cockpit's absolutely wonderful, and we're gonna go take a look at this here in a minute. There's a very, very simple reason why, and it's a one-letter word, and, and the word is family. When you're flying the aircraft, you want your family to be comfortable or your passengers to be comfortable. And uh, I'll point out some of those features and benefits when we get, when we get in the aircraft. That is really the most important word, is, is really comfort and family. This is 5 feet 5 vertical by 5 feet 6 inches horizontal, 315 cubic feet of cabin space. And that's because of the, we use this material right here. And this material, this composite, is 20% lighter than aluminum, it's three times stronger, and it's 70% stiffer. And the stiffness allows us to not have to worry about frames to put aluminum skin on. And so therefore we get a lot more cabin space than with an aluminum aircraft. And there are many, many nice features about, about the cabin, but they, these are the three I want you to remember. The first one is, look, sitting here, look how the windows are at the right height. They're not down here or out there or in back here. And no matter where you sit in the cabin, that's the way it is. And then light jets were always known to be very small inside. And with the Premier, we've completely flipped that around by having a larger cabin as well as going faster. But in some aircraft, when you sit down because you don't have all this headroom, I'm five feet, or I'm, excuse me, I'm six feet one, uh, you have the leans. And the first thing you want to do is slide out in the aisle to get max a headroom. Well, you don't have to do that in a Premier, and that's because of composite technology. And then as a prior Air Force pilot, I thought all light jets come with independent temperature control, where you in the cabin uh, as a passenger control the temperature back here, and myself as a pilot control the temperature up there. You know the scene where I'm flying, I'm hot, I turn the temperature down, and guess what happens back here? You freeze. Well, you'll never, never have that problem. We have an independent temp control rheostat right here uh, that feeds off the, uh, off the uh, uh, number two engine. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. You can see we have six seats right here. The first four seats are what I call articulating, where you can, you can, they wiggle, you can turn them around, as I, as I mentioned. Uh, I've had maybe easily over 200 missions in the back of the aircraft. I, we call them executive demos, where they may not necessarily be uh, pilots that are in the aircraft. And I've had the seats two, three, all, uh, all the way up to six seats filled up. What uh, my observation uh, is, you're at 41,000 feet, you're flying at over seven and a half miles a minute, over 500 miles an hour, and it's very bright, open, spacious uh, cabin environment. People are more relaxed. They don't feel like as if, if they move, they're going to disturb somebody. Whether you want to work or you want to talk or do business or take a nap, it is a wonderful, wonderful cabin environment in terms of uh, flying. I mentioned single action table. Very, very nice. Just press it, press it, up it comes. Look at the nice workspace, very, very uh, elegant uh, workspace here for doing work or just reading or whatever you'd like to do. The headliner is completely different on the, uh, on the 1A, and this interior is the same as the Premier 2. We have the LED downwash lighting. I mentioned the nice stream, uh, streamlined sidewalls that you see here. The seats have been completely redone as far as comfort and uh, stitching pattern and, uh, and then contour. In the back, nice private lavatory hard slide petition doors. Baggage really is external to the aircraft. The left side of the aircraft is baggage, 400 pounds in the aft, 150 pounds in the nose, and the right side is maintenance. Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology, and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer. When you start from scratch uh, in building the aircraft, um, you can really, as I say, think through the layout of the aircraft, especially the instrument panel. This is as fine a tune an instrument layout that I've seen in any aircraft. 
we get so many nice, nice compliments from not only corporate pilots, airline pilots, uh, in regard to uh, the instrument layout. And uh, the, uh, I want to point out a few uh, of the what I call the foot stoppers. And the first one is, is that look how nice the um, autopilot panels is. It's up here on the, at the top of the glare shield. It's not down here on the console. The way I've been brought up flying is you want to be able, you want to look outside when you're flying. So you can imagine coming into a place like, say, O'Hare, where you're listening on a radio, you're looking outside, you're manipulating the controls in regard to the autopilot panel, you're clearing by hearing. It's certainly a nice, nice safety feature of the aircraft. And then there's a lot of, look how aesthetically pleasing and well-balanced the instrument panel is here. You've got the primary flight display, which you would expect as far as attitude information, heading information with, with, uh, with airspeed, altimeter, and uh, vertical velocity indicator. I've called up with the integrated flight information system, beach, airport, the runway. You can see the aircraft, the Magenta aircraft. That's where we are in the hangar right now. And then there's a lot of nice, what I call Beechcraft uh, philosophy in the aircraft. For example, this is the fuel panel right here. It's not a fuel panel here and a gauge over here. And it's all nicely labeled in regard to uh, the various uh, systems of the aircraft. The aircraft is easy to start. For example, battery on, electronic control switches on. All right, the uh, right start button you would hit, you'd get 12% on the, what I call the N2. You go to idle on the throttle, it would start up. And then you would turn on the right generator switch. Repeat the process for the left engine. Turn on the avionics, they're on right now and then call up the electronic checklist and you're in business.